Action also taken by the Trump campaign in the state of Wisconsin. They have filed for a recount in two of the state's largest counties. Correspondent Mike Tobin has the latest for us this evening from Chicago. Mike? Hi there, Lou. Ballots from both Milwaukee and Dane County have been boxed up and taken to the Wisconsin Center in Milwaukee for the recount to begin tomorrow. Meantime, President Trump just about 20 hours ago rekindled an old uh, argument about ballots in Milwaukee with a tweet writing, Biden receives a dump of 143,379 votes at 3.42 a.m. That was because counting finished for 169,000 absentee ballots in the Democratic stronghold of Milwaukee just before 3.30 a.m. AM. They were loaded onto a drive and included in the total. Meantime, Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani claims that more than 100,000 absentee ballots were issued without voters requesting and filling out an application in Milwaukee and Dane counties. That would violate Wisconsin law and invalidate the vote. Take away any number of those, and that 20,000 lead disappears. In other words, if you count the lawful votes, Trump won Wisconsin by a good margin. Megan Wolf, the administrator for the Wisconsin Election Commission, says if uh, there were more absentee ballots than requests for absentee ballots, that would have shown up in the canvas, which was just completed, and it will show up in the recount. That sets the stage for the recount, which starts 9 a.m. tomorrow. There will be 134 counting stations, two counters per table, three observers. Pre uh, plexiglass will separate them. The observers will be kept at three feet. Uh, any of the machines involved are from ESS, not Dominion. The bill for the recount is estimated at 2.8. Eight million dollars, just shy of three dollars per registered voter. Lou, Mike Tobin, thank you so much. Mike Tobin reporting. Election officials in Georgia are expected to release a report tonight, a report on the state's hand recount results. The recount has produced 6,000 previously uncounted ballots in four counties. President Trump gained 1,400 votes among those and now trails Joe Biden by fewer than 13,000 votes. The president today tweeted almost zero ballots rejected in Georgia this election. In years past, that number was close to 4 percent. Not possible. Must have signature check on envelopes now. Very easy to do. Dems fighting because they got caught. Far more votes than needed for flip. Republicans must get tough. Well, failed Georgia gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams weighing in on the recount in her state. Uh, Abrams says uh, President Trump should acknowledge the legal sufficiency of the election as she did in 2018. Uh, Abrams has, in point of fact, never, never conceded her race against Brian Kemp for governor.